Cabinet has approved to immediately suspend the services of the private firm selected for the project to construct the defence headquarters complex at Akuregorea. According to the decision which was taken based on the recommendations of the committee which was investigating the irregularities of this transaction, the payments made to the said firm are to be reviewed. <laughs> The contract for this project has been handed over to a company called Mudita Jayakodi Associates without any competitive bidding or calling for tenders. So the cost which should be paid to this consultant service is only 4% of the direct construction. So as there is a procurement procedure of 4% here, the project has been given to this individual for 5.5% after taking over the contract and completing work on it. Cabinet approval was given to the Defence Headquarters project on the 25th of January 2011. So this wasn't even a company when this contract was given to them. This was the company which was given all architectural planning and they are not even a member of the architectural association. This is a project of the Defence Ministry, but the cabinet paper says that this is a project of the UDA. He is the only director of this company. Uh, the total cost for the stage one of the project is 40 billion, hence 5.5% of the consultant fee is 2,200 million. So if these calculations are made correctly and the project is given to a proper company at a cost of 4%, it would still cost 1,600 million rupees. So they have been paid more for this. Project is suspended. Consultancy is being contracted. It was decided just yesterday. But once they are in handcuffs, they will show their wrists and say that they are war heroes and that the government is attacking them. Clearly, it is the defense secretary. All cabinet papers and this report have his and the instructions of the cabinet secretary.